All right, I don't know if you can hear, but there's trombone stuff going on upstairs. I'm at a store I teach at. Um, but this is a follow-up to two videos I put up recently. This is uh, the new soloist I've been, uh, I got refaced. It's not a new soloist, it's a 60-year-old mouthpiece. Um, but this has been refaced, and I'm still figuring it out, and I've had a long string of bad reads. And the weather's been questionable up here, so I have two reads to try today. So this goes to, you know, play testing this mouthpiece, really, and then uh, trying different reads. These were just, uh, just started, threw them in the water, haven't done anything to them. I uh, didn't even do the paper and the glass technique, which uh, some of you might know about. Maybe I'll do a video about that. It's real simple. But I didn't even do that. I don't have any of that stuff with me. I'm at the music store. So I just put them in the water, and we're going to give them a try. This is number 15, and then that one's number 16. I just use a simple numbering system so I can tell them apart. Um, so line it up, and we're going to give it a run here. The last bunch of them have been either, be, either been really resistant and not too pleasant to play or kind of soft. So we're going to see how we look here. <laughs> It's got some, some character, some warmth, some brightness. Um, it's not too dead. The other ones have been so dead and hard to play, I can't even play them. Alright, so now in real time we'll go to the other one. This is again, this is number two of the two I just opened not worked on or sanded in any way, just soaked. And here we go. This one has some ugly discoloration, not only here on the bark, but the back of the reed is pretty ugly as well. You can't really see that very well. But it doesn't look very good. As compared to this one, you could perhaps see the different... Maybe you could see the difference in the... All right, anyway, sorry for the cinematography. It's, after all, just a phone, right? All right, so let's try this one. This one looks a little ugly. We'll see how it plays. <laughs> the other ones. The other ones so far have been really kind of resistant and not playing very well. So I like the other one better. Now we'll try them on the other mouthpiece. So this is the older one. As you can see, it's sort of brown and green. I've been playing on it about six years. Um, Older meaning I had it refaced then, and I've been playing it that long. These mouthpieces are about the same age. This one's probably not quite as old, but only by a year or two. Um, they were refaced by the same craftsman. They're about the same opening, but they're going to play different. They always play different, and we all know that. There's no cookie cutter for this stuff. There's always minute differences that affect how they play. This is the first read you heard. Again, first on this mouthpiece. Let's see how it sounds. is just a, the other mouthpiece is a little more resistant I think this older one is um, is different but it's not as bright the other one seems a little brighter uh, so here's the second read that we had that looks kind of funny and we as you can see and we found it 
to not play as well. Let's see how it plays on this mouthpiece. Too many variables for the human brain to really handle. I don't know how we do it. <laughs> Again, it's just not a, it's not a great read, um, and doesn't seem to matter on the mouthpiece. You know, I mean, it's uh, we liked the other read better on that mouthpiece, and we like it on this one too. So, um, so it, you, but you can hear a little bit of the difference between the two mouthpieces. To me, they're they are a little different, um, but they're physically different. And if you go back and watch my previous mouth videos where I just talk about the two mouthpieces and don't play anything, ha <laughs> ha. Um, but you can see the difference between the two mouthpieces as blanks, and then now you can hear it a little bit too. Back to the first one we liked a little better. Let's check it out. So there you go, there's uh, two different reeds across two different mouthpieces and we still don't really know anything different. <laughs> Good times. Uh, such is the process of playing these instruments and learning them. And, um, it's a lifestyle. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and there will be more to come as we uh, get more reeds across that other mouthpiece.